Hello and welcome to the Internet Nook. Today we are going to be looking into how to use space in your images. I'm going to be showing you these techniques using watercolour, but you can apply these techniques to any artistic method you prefer. First we are going to look into using modern spacing. This is where we create shapes of colour that do not touch to make an image. Today I'm going to be making us a friendly turtle to show you how this can be done. See how I'm using the brush to make small shapes to make up a bigger picture, but those shapes individually do not touch. Now I'm going to introduce the idea of grouping. Grouping is the name for the placement of multiple items. These could be birds, flowers, cars, anything you like. Today I have chosen to use trees. Firstly, I'm going to place two trees to the side of the image and one to the other. This could be to use the trees as framing for something else in the centre of the image. It can also create the idea of perspective. Secondly, I'm going to place three trees in the centre of the image. This is to give the impression that they are the main interest in the image, or the focal point of the image. Thirdly, three to one side of the image. Not so good for framing, perhaps, but it could be used to show a differing landscape. These trees could be set on the edge of a river or a lake, for example. Now I'm going to paint you a simple scene to cover the concept of perspective further. I'm going to paint a geisha, or Japanese woman, under the cherry blossom tree. These characters have to be very vivid in colour, as they are at the front of our picture. Now I am painting a lightly coloured bridge. I'm using a lighter colour as this gives the impression that the bridge is further away from us than the geisha is. The bridge should also be much smaller than it would be if it was on the same plane as the geisha, as things that are further away tend to look smaller. We can add more detail to the geisha and the cherry tree than to the bridge and the river, because they are closer. Naturally, we would be able to make them out in more detail. You can try this idea with your finger. Holding your finger close to your eyes, you'll be able to see more detail than if your hand is further away. Thank you. 
Creating space with an object in the front or foreground of your image can be a fun way also to play with perspective. Here I'm drawing a breakwater with a hole in it. Once this is dry, I can paint a scene behind it that we can see through the hole. Space may not just mean the space in your image, but also the space in your canvas or page. Here I'm going to paint a similar effect on both a portrait and a landscape page. This is to highlight the difference that the page can have on your image. I'm just going to finish off the trees in the area about grouping. Our final topic is minimalism. This art style needs a lot of space to create interest in an arrangement or composition of lines and shapes. Firstly, I'm going to draw a face. Two lines, one to show the eyes and nose, and the final line to show the lips. I'm not going into too much detail because part of minimalism is to use as little as possible to create an impression of what you want to paint. Secondly, a composition of shapes to create something that is simply nice to look at. Shapes and space used together can create emotion in people, even if they don't clearly depict something. Now let's just finish off that breakwater image. Placing something in the space of the breakwater would highlight the importance of that object, or at least bring the viewer's eye to it. Thank you.
Thirdly, on the topic of minimalism, I am going to create a cherry tree blossom branch because I still have some space on my page. I take a lot of inspiration from Japan. Perhaps you can find a culture with the type of art that you are interested in. Finally, let's finish off that second example of minimalism with a few funky lines and crosses. Experiment with this idea at your own pace and maybe you'll create something you really like. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay cosy.